Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really really well. Today I am going to cater to the people who are just starting to work out and don't know where to start. So I'm making a beginner total body workout. Everything is super simple, but you don't have to be a beginner to do this workout. It's also a great workout if you're not a beginner. It's really quick and basically if you don't have time, it's a good workout to do when you don't have time. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so if you're ready, we're just gonna need a mat and we're gonna need just yourself and yeah, to follow through workout video and yeah, I've said it already a million times, but if you're ready, let's go. All right, so when you're ready, let's get down on all fours and we're gonna slowly come up to a plank pose. So your stomach is tucked in and your butt is under, so don't stick it out. Your head is straight and we're just gonna hold here. Now we're gonna come for a side plank, but an easy one with the knee down and the other side. And if you feel more advanced, then you can do a full on side plank we're gonna do eight of these and then come back to the plank. Good. Stomach is nice and in here. So you're not sticking it out. You're always engaging it. Keep going. And we're gonna come back to that plank. So like I said, stomach is engaged, butt is under. Let's continue with the side planks again. Good. Stomach is engaged. Four. Five. And six. Keep breathing in all of these poses. You don't want to be holding your breath at any point. Hold here. And let go. Now we're gonna come on all fours and we're gonna do some leg lifts in an attitude position. Making sure your toe is pointed the entire time. Your stomach is also engaged here, so you're not sticking it out. Your head is straight. Good, keep going. We're doing two sets of eight. And then we're gonna come for pulses soon after. So trying to kick it as high as you can. Keep going. come for pulses also two times eight trying to go as high as we can here still pointing that toe still keeping our form all right so now let's come forward with the leg and we're gonna come to a lunge position we're gonna do some lunge pulses up and down two times eight stomach is engaged your posture is nice and straight so no slouching and just up and down up and down Come up and we're gonna come to plie squats in a second position. Stomach is engaged, posture is nice. And we're just going up and down. Perfect. You're doing great, just keep going. Switch to the other side soon. All right, so let's go to the other side lunges. And we're gonna pulse up and down. Stomach is still engaged. We did not lose our form. If at any point in these exercises you need to take a break, please do so. Go at your own pace. back down to all fours. I'm gonna come for those attitude lifts. Toe 
toe is pointed, stomach is engaged, and your head is straight. Keep going as high as you can. Doing great. We're going to come for pulses soon. And let's go. Two times eight. Pulse it up as high as you can so you can feel that burn. We're doing these really quickly. Good. And down. So now we're going to lay on our side. I'm going to start with some arm exercises. So we're just bending the one arm and the free arm can be up on the side. We're just going up and down here. Good. Stomach is engaged. We're not slouching here. Don't forget that. So we're doing two times eight. Good, you should be feeling a burn here. And we're gonna come for pulses. Two times eight. I know it hurts, but you can do it. Good, so release the arm. We're gonna come for a quick stretch just to release all that tension we created. Shake it out. And let's continue on the side. We're gonna bend our arm a little bit and we're gonna come for these side leg stretches. So bending and then stretching, bending and stretching, and the arm can follow with the movement or you can keep it to the side if you find it too hard. Good, so you're really feeling this in your oblique and in your hips. We Keep stretching as much as you can and pointing the toe. When you do this, your calf will get a great workout. Good, now we're doing pulses up and down really quickly. Good, lift it and let go. Relax that arm a little bit, shake it out, roll your shoulders. And we're gonna come to our butt. We're gonna slowly go down. We're gonna do a few ab exercises, so hands behind your head and we're gonna come for a crunch bringing the knee in and then switching to the other side toe is also pointed here good two times eight you're gonna feel this in your lower abs and in your upper abs Do not pull too much on your head. Really try to use your stomach muscles here. Good, keep going. Now we're gonna bring our knees together and we're just gonna go up and down. Head is on the ground. We're just touching our toes up and down so we feel it in our lower abs. Keep going. If you want to make this a little bit more advanced, you can lift your head. Perfect. Keep going. Last ones. And now we're gonna bend and stretch our legs. If you find this a bit too hard, then continue with the previous exercise. And we're just holding in that stretch position for a moment. Hold, and then bend again. Hold, and then bend again. You can put your hands under your butt if you feel like this will relieve the back pain if you're experiencing any. Good, hold here. And let go. Now roll up. We're going to do a few more ab exercises. Roll your shoulders if you feel any tension. 
So we're gonna stretch our arms behind and we're just gonna kind of kick the leg to our head. Not literally, but we're trying to engage our abs here. So you're feeling that squeeze. Head is nice and straight. And really feel this squeeze here. So you feel it in your lower abs. Good. Keep going. Good, release. And we're gonna lift our hips here. We're gonna come for some more arm exercises. So we're just pulsing here, bending the arms, trying to keep the hips up. Good, you should feel a burn here in your arms. Keeping your stomach in. And hold. Bend those arms and hold. Good, you're doing great. And let's release. Good, roll your shoulders. Relax your arms, shake it out. And we're gonna come for everything on the other side. So let's go on the hip and let's start with those arm pulses. So first slow ones, an arm to the side. Good, keep going. Just a few more exercises and then we're gonna be finished. Let's pulse. A really fast movement. Good, release. Roll your arm or shoulder. <laughs> Stretch your arm out. Good. Let's come back onto that hip. And let's finish with the hip oblique exercises. So your arm is bent, and you're just bending and stretching the leg. Arm is following, if you'd like. Good, it's always stretching as much as you can when you stretch that leg, pointing the toe so your calf gets a good workout and your whole leg. Good, let's pulse it up, leg lifts. Really fast, stretch that leg as much as you can. Point that toe. Good, finished. Whew. Shake it out. And we're gonna come for a few stretches. So let's stretch our arms out again because they got a really good workout. Good, other side. Let's stretch the leg back, stretch our quad. Good, let's come for cow face pose. So we're stretching our hip and our butt, making them more flexible and releasing the tension we created in the workout. Perfect, come up. And let's do it all on the other side. So first with the quad stretch, you can go all the way down if you'd like, or you can stay up like me. Good, let's come for cow face. Trying to stack our knees on top of each other. If you can't do that, it's okay. Just keep trying your best. And just relax here. Come up, let's come to easy pose and let's stretch to the side, stretch out our obliques. The other side. Good, stretch your neck back, do some neck rolls. 
And let's come all the way down, stretching out our hips here. You can go side to side to stretch out your lower back. Shake it out, release all that tension, roll your shoulders. And we're finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.